Welcome back. Today we are talking the May 2024 $5 pattern of the month. I have those Dresden blocks finished and I'm going to be showing you how I opted to put those together. And I have my scrappy Irish chain blocks done. So this is going to be a fun video full of fun things to share with all of you. <laughs> First up, let's chat just a bit about Dearly Loved. That's the quilt hanging here behind me. Many of you have probably seen this quilt pattern. I've shared it on the channel before, but if not, this is an adorable little wall hanging size quilt featuring my Starberry fabrics. Now, Starberry fabrics are set to arrive in quilt shops very soon. They are looking like maybe an end of May, beginning of June arrival right now. So we should have them in our quilt shops very soon. It's always so much fun for me to see exactly what you all make once those fabrics start arriving. So I am excited to once again see what you all have dreamed up using Starberry fabrics. But this pattern, dearly loved, is the $5 pattern for May over in my Etsy shop. So you will find the pattern in PDF or paper version over there. The link is in the description box below. This is an intermediate level pattern and it's just a fun one to piece. I want to show you these fabric requirements just a little bit. Now do keep in mind that you can get a nicer view of these requirements over in my Etsy listing. I always include this information on any of my patterns. So if you want to see what you might need prior to having the pattern in hand, you can check out the Etsy listings to double check those requirements. You are going to need a variety of fat quarters and fat eights for most of the piecing. And then you will need yardage of background fabric, the border fabric, binding and backing fabric. And there's another peek at the front of the pattern there and another peek of the quilt hanging. This was a fun one to piece and just a neat holiday design. If any of you are expecting or maybe have family members expecting Christmas babies, this could be a really fun baby quilt for that new addition. I always think this size is such a nice size. My barn star quilt patterns, you can see this guy hanging, hanging back behind me here. These are 40 inch square patterns. I have a variety of those and then woolly wall hanging and now dearly loved is just a little bit bigger, but the others are all 40 inches square. This is 42 inches square. So very similar in size and they make such nice baby quilts. So you can take a peek at that if that's something you are interested in. And now we're just gonna move right into the update on those Dresdens. So you guys remember my Dresden blocks. I actually ended up with one extra that I didn't need. So maybe a cute little block for a pillow. This is a nice size for a pillow if I add some borders, but one extra. Now, how did I decide to finish this? You guys had a lot of opinions and it was really fun to chat with all of you in the comments about what you were thinking. I ended, going with, ended up going with the bright yellow for my sashing and then cornerstones using a solid warm white. And this is what it looks like. I think it turned out so pretty. I do like what that yellow adds. If you've seen the last couple of videos where I chatted about this quilt, first I was debating about sewing these blocks together with a white on white sashing and then yellow cornerstones in a dot fabric. And, and then I mulled things over after reading down through your comments. And then I was debating about this bright yellow, so swapping the sashing choices essentially. Instead of white sashing, yellow cornerstones, I went with yellow sashing, white cornerstones. I think it turned out really pretty. I am not adding a border. I know that's going to be the next, the next question on your mind. Is she adding a border? And I decided not to. I like this size. I don't want it to get any bigger for what I'm using it for. So I've decided to forego a border. So it is ready to go to the quilter. I am going to use an aqua stripe for my binding and I have it already and it's going to be just perfect. I love the way it will frame out the quilt. I don't have it down here to show you, but I will be sure and show you when the quilt is finished. And I think that's just going to be so pretty. So it is 
ready to go. I looked up when these blocks were completed, 2011. That's when they were, so I've had these for a while. What is that, 13 years? So a little while. They were blocks that I received in a quilting bee that I was in. I made one of them, and then all of the others were made for me by people in that quilting bee. So it's a fun quilt to have finished up. But if you have any of those projects, waxing long, is that how you use that word? Waxing, waxing on, I don't think that's how you use it. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> If you have projects that have been hanging over your head for a while, you're in good company because I've got those too. So those are the Dresden blocks. That's the completed Dresden quilt. I will be sure and show that to you once I get that all quilted up. I've been doing much better this year about wrapping up some of these long-term quilt projects that I've had. I was in so many quilting bees over the course of about two years. And so I've got all of these quilt blocks that need to be turned into quilt tops. And then of course we get the quilt tops that need to be turned into quilts and it's sort of a never ending cycle sometimes. I'm thankful that I oftentimes have deadlines that I'm working with. And so that keeps me really on track. And it's always these personal projects that I let linger a little bit longer just because I can, I don't have a deadline that needs done and I like working on what I wanna work on when I have a little bit of free time and sometimes that is something old and sometimes that is something much more current that has my attention. So, anywho, glad to have that one done. So, the next thing that I wrapped up mostly are my Scrappy Irish chain blocks. I got all of the blocks sewn, so now I do still need to sew them into a quilt top, but the blocks are done. Let me flip these over this way, here we go. I had had all of these done already, these super scrappy ones, but I needed to make some more of this guy. And so these are all done now as well. I only needed four. After making all of these, <laughs> these go much faster. So these are ready to be sewn into a quilt top and I am going to do that within the next day or two and have a quilt top to share with you next Saturday with these blocks sewn together. I'll lay these out here for you. Someone had asked the last time I chatted about these blocks to see how they look when they are joined together. So if you haven't seen these blocks before, these are scrappy Irish chain blocks. I will link to information where I have chatted about these previously. These were part of a scrap along that I hosted, I think it's been about a year and a half or so ago. And the pattern was free. I shared some good information about pressing and cutting and that sort of thing. So I will link to that in the description box below if you wanted to bust some of your scraps. These are wonderful blocks for using up scraps. And I just used a whole bunch of my fabric lines, mixed them all together and it's just happy and scrappy. And I think that will be a fun one to have done. I did opt to go with the smaller size. I've mentioned that in a couple of videos now that I was going to go smaller than the pattern called for. So my quilt is going to end at 54 inches square. I am two, two blocks short across and down. So it would be quite a bit bigger if I had done all of the blocks the pattern called for. But those are Scrappy Irish chain blocks. Now I will tell you, I am still going to keep releasing those other little scrappy blocks that I've been scattering about here and there. So you can keep an eye out for those. In fact, I am hoping to share another one next Saturday when I show my completed quilt top. I hope to have another scrappy block pattern available for you guys. It is such a springy, fun block. So it needs to come out now rather than later. So that is my plan. Keep sharing those here and there. I'll just be throwing them in when I have a chance when I get a new block pattern written up. So those are the works in progress I wanted to share with you today. I'm going to keep plugging away. I had a big fabric deadline this week. Actually, 
May 1st is the deadline, but I managed to turn things in a little bit quicker. I had a fabric deadline, so I got all of those fabrics turned in. I don't know if I chatted about that here or not, but usually I would have a spring deadline and then a fall, a late fall deadline for when new collections are due. And so things get a little bit hectic and sometimes, you know, these sorts of of personal projects get pushed way to the back burner, but um, I managed to get some of them done this week. Got those fabrics turned in and then I had just a little bit of extra time to do some sewing. So that was fun. So I hope you guys get some time to do a little bit of sewing too. If you don't, that's fine. I'm sure you are busy working on other things or maybe spending time with other people or whatever you might be doing and that is just perfect. So, so thank you so much for stopping by and I will catch you again next time.